All right, here we're gonna do a quick test of this alternator test stand. All right, so we just have a, a simple 50 amp GM one wire alternator being belt driven by the spindle. And it's connected here to the 100 amp or less cannon plug. Um, any larger alternators can be connected to this bus here with the larger cam lock plugs. Uh, so we're using uh, the 12 volt section, which is which is this section here. If we were testing a 12 volt or a 24 volt volt device, we would use this section here. Um, and there's three different load switches, load steps. Here's the 50 amp load step. So each each click here represents 50 amps. So it would be 50, 100, 150, um, and two and a half amp, and 12 and a half amp, and so on. We'll go ahead down here and to start it up, you have to select uh, the rotation. We're doing clockwise. And then you have to select the unit under test if it's negative or positive ground. So we do negative and then we can start the motor. So as you can see, the alternator is not producing any voltage yet because the field does not have any current. So we go to the building power supply. And once you turn that on, the alternator immediately starts producing. And then we can turn off the field current right now. Start with two and a half amp load. There's twelve and a half amp. And then the fifty amp. So that's the alternator side of the machine. The left side of the machine is the starter side of the machine. Our starters are clamped in this clamp. And then you just press the starter test button and you can free run the starter. So up here you select your starter voltage. So we're on a, a 24 volt selection right now. So you can fine tune the voltage here. We can get it closer to 24, or you select this as 12 volt. And there you have 12 volt. And then you just press this, start, and then it'll run for the allotted time on the timer. 